Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get to the draft. First, part of the draft class is John Franklin Myers. Mm. So let's hear from George Payton about the acquisition of John Franklin. Uh, Myers. Something we've been working on the last couple of weeks. He's a player we've always uh, respected. Um, durable. You know, he started three straight years, hasn't missed a game. Four straight years of 54 plus pressures. Uh, he can play all down the line of scrimmage. Um, the one thing that sticks out on tape is just the relentless motor this guy plays with. And so we we're excited to get him. And uh, it took a bit, but uh, he was here today in the building, and, and he's going to help our, uh, our D-line. Now, the Jets, Chad, were actually pretty upset. They had a pretty um, uh, heartfelt sort of moment because they acquired Hassan Reddick, and they, I mean, they simply couldn't acquire, uh, hold on to uh, – uh, John Franklin Myers, this seems like a fantastic pickup for the Broncos. I think it really truly is. Um, the, the Jets expressed, uh, you know, Joe Douglas and Robert Sala, how much they didn't want him to see him go, but they recognized that the writing was on the wall. There was no way they were going to be able to retain him from a salary cap perspective. So the Broncos win this one. Major, yeah. major tip of the cap to Sean Payton and George Payton and George Payton's staff to be on this one, to know the situation, to know because you, you're – when you're building out your team and you're looking at all the players around the league, you need to know everyone's contract situation. You need to know how a free agent signing could affect people within that room or in that group. So uh, nice work by George Payton to be thinking ahead of this, recognize the difficult situation the Jets were in and being able to capitalize. This is that thing where you can go out and actually steal great yeah. players if you are a hardworking front office and you understand all the different pieces of the personnel department and how to maximize on a team's difficult situation. Nate? Yeah, man, kudos to George, right? Um, yeah. Getting that done. You know, you got to give the guy props. because That's a George Payton move, not yep. a Sean yeah, Payton move. Absolutely. Right? Sean absolutely. Payton move. absolutely. And, 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 and about the Jets thing, right? The Jets hate us so much, and we offended them so bad, they'll never work with us again. Well, fucking that ain't true either, right? No. So George Payton clearly is able to, to smooth over those ruffled feathers if there ever were ruffled feathers and work with them to make a deal that would really help this team. Chad, what position is he playing mm. in a three, four defense? Uh, I th well, you know, three, four is what you play on, on, in, on base downs, but the yeah. reality is the Broncos are going to be a four man front a majority of the time. And I think he gives you that flexibility to slide as George Payton said up and down the defensive line, he can play any spot. So depending on what's going on, depending on who you're playing, are they a team that on, Second and third down long situations, they still want to run the ball. Maybe he could play defensive end. Uh, maybe in a pure pass situation, he slides inside to defensive tackle. So there's some possibilities for him to play multiple spots in, in a skill set he already has. They're not asking him to do something he already hasn't done in the league successfully. So is it true now that that with the way the league is, so much nickel and dime situation, so much situational football, that, um, that there really is no kind of traditional 3-4 team? You have to be able to do both. Well, you, you, you do. Um, I think there's still all traditional 3-4 teams just because, you know, you got to draft a nose guard if you're going to be a 3-4 team. And that guy typically doesn't help you very much in the pass rush game. So it's a defense that requires a commitment from a personnel perspective to have a special player that only really benefits you in one aspect but doesn't bring a whole lot in another aspect. So you've got to be committed to it. 